Hey YouTube, it's Millie. We have an unboxing today. This is an almost vintage bag. It will officially be vintage next year in 2025. So this is a bag that came out in 2005. This is a bag that I actually had never seen before. I randomly came across it on Poshmark. This is a pretty unique style, so I'm excited to share it with you guys and see what you think. Let's jump right into this. So we have some recyclable stickers here paper and the bag is just kind of sitting in here but they did stuff the bag which is really nice so let me get the box out of here and then we'll take a look at the bag together okay so if you are familiar with this decade of coach like early 2000s y2k coach you will know that this is the soho style of bag which you may have seen me talk about this bag, which I'm sure you can see the similarities. This is just your traditional Soho bag. This is a backpack version of the Soho and the Posher had listed it as a mini Soho. So I don't know if there was a bigger version of this that came out, but you can see compared to my hand size. I mean, I feel like this is a pretty decent size, but some may consider this mini for a book bag. As soon as I saw that this was a style that existed, I started doing some digging. There are a couple colorways that I was able to find. So there's a black version with silver hardware and I believe white stitching, but this is a brown color. And I don't know if you would call this mahogany. I've heard that color used a lot with these dark browns. But the thing that I love about this bag is that half of the stitching is in a pink stitch. So you can see right along here, that's pink and then it's white here. And that kind of continues throughout the bag. It's almost kind of like an ombre effect. And then you can see this is full grain leather. I'm gonna show you the inside of the bag. We'll check to make sure everything matches with the listing said. Then you have the coach hang tag here, the back of the bag. This does have a little handle here on top. And then you have the two straps, which, oh, I did see this in the listing. It almost looks like the underside of the strap is a little different. I think it's actually just, let's see. Yeah, it is a darker color. Huh. And then the straps are adjustable here, so you could make this shorter or longer depending on what you prefer. Let's take a look at the inside of the bag and we will check to make sure the style code and everything matches. So this is what it looks like when you open it up. There is a magnetic clasp right there, but then you also have this drawstring piece to kind of cinch the bag or open it up to make it easier to get into. I'm just kind of looking at the details as we go here. The inside is not leather. It is a fabric, which was pretty common with the Sohos and just that era of coach in general. The Posher stuffed this really nicely, which I will probably save this. So we have a pocket here in the front. And then we have the Creed. So let's take a look. Okay, so 2005, that is correct. And then the style code on this is 3559. If you search that, you will find a couple more of them. There are definitely a couple on Poshmark right now specifically. I think that might be the only resale site I was able to find them. And then obviously you have the zipper pocket here, which does have this little tab. Let's see how clean. This bag is pretty clean. I love when I get a bag resale and the person who sold it to me either cleaned it or took good care of it. That is always nice. I will vacuum a bag if I have to, but it's nice when it comes clean already. The reason why I decided to jump on this bag when I saw it is definitely how unique it is being a Soho book bag backpack style. I've never seen that before. And I have really enjoyed using the day pack that I have. So I know that this is a bag that will get a lot of use. And I also have been using my Soho bags a lot lately. 
So this is kind of like a fun combination of those. And that pink stitching, I just cannot get over that. I think that's so cool. I do plan to condition the bag. I'd like to get a little bit of leather CPR on there, but I feel like this leather's in really good condition. It looks amazing. And I'm finding that a lot of these early 2000s full grain leather bags are in great condition. There are a lot of people who love the vintage coach leather, so like 70s, 80s, 90s. And for good reason, because we know that leather has stood the test of time. It's holding up great. But I'm finding that these Soho bags, specifically the ones that were made with full grain leather, are also holding up really well. So I showed you this one, obviously. And then I've talked about this one a couple times on the channel as well. And I just think this leather looks so luscious. It is so soft to the touch. And I think that's why I'm gravitating to these and using them so often. So I'm pretty excited to have this backpack version. The Brandon Blackwood collection video is still coming. I just have not had a chance to actually edit it yet. We were out of town two weekends in a row. And then as soon as we came back into town, which was a couple of days ago, we unfortunately had a tornado come through our city and we have been without power. So things have been very hectic, but we officially have power back. I was able to film today. I was kind of excited to be able to get back into things. So that will be coming now that I actually have power and can get back to editing. Bye YouTube. I'll see you next time.